What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. So... That rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse! That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you're no killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I just should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us, ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. You calling me a liar? I shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. Then it's gonna be your last mistake. I kissed your ass goodbye! Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? <laughs> I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. This cash could buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you, when you put it that way. Thanks, Wayne. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Hey, handsome. Buy me a drink before you go? You're following me? Waller just wants to remind you. Stay on the clown and get to Bane. Whatever happens, keep your eye on the prize. Bruce, be careful. Oh, cool! They're expecting you. Bruce, um, wow, <laughs> one, one more thing, you can't tell anyone this, this is big, 
huge. I think I'm in love. It's it's an odd feeling. At first, I, I thought I had some kind of disease, but uh, no, I, I think it's love. And uh, are you in love with with me? No, but I hope uh, we can still be friends. So mysterious. You at least got to tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. At least it worked before. It, it did, I promise. Really. I could just buy you a car, you know, something with an actual key. Uh, uh, this works, it's just a matter of trial and error. Just one sec. There we go. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Harley? Stay out of this pudding. Grown ups are talking. Well, you got a reason I shouldn't put a bullet in your noggin? Trust me, you don't want to do that. The mess will be awful. Maybe I like mess. No, no. Brains are like red wine. The stain never comes out, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> Since when did you ever scrub a damn thing? I'm just joshing you, rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Never. And I mean, never do that again. Oh, Brucey, I was just having fun. Don't you like fun? Well, oh, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, sad way you lost your folks. Puddin' here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? The agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sniffing all around Wayne Enterprises. We should work together to get them off our backs. Sounds to me like you just bring more heat. Bruce could be a real help to us, Harley. You should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. He played him like a Stradivarius. <laughs> Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. 
raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute? You're sweet on little old Puddin. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? John vouched for me, didn't he? That's gotta count for something. <laughs> John's easily impressed. Just so you know, Mr. Moneybags, I ain't. You're gonna have to earn my respect. And it's gonna take a lot more than that billion dollar smile. Aw, oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucie? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. <laughs> you just made my day, Bruce! I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Cross my heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told ya. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level about the agency. Maybe I'll even vouch for you with the rest of the guys. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's yours. okay, Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? You don't have to worry. I promise. I'll take care of it. So glad to hear it. Maybe you are my kind of guy. Well, then, let's get moving. No time like the present. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce.
Uh, Mr. Wayne! Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. Is everything okay? Well, no risk for the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. You really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It... Is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey! <laughs> this ain't your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Okay, okay, we'll do it your way. Just don't hurt anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's in charge. How cute. Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. Uh, friends from upstate, they don't get to Gotham often. Yeah, you know, we just couldn't miss getting a look inside this place. Oh? You should have told me you were coming in. I'd have had facilities set up a tour. Why don't you show us around? All we really want to see is the crater. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. Regina will apologize, won't you, Regina? Bruce, I... I thought... I... Make it feel real. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause offense. Good. More. Make a bag. Please. I'm so... Uh, so very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, do you got some guns on you. enough to make a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you got under those clothes? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Anytime. Anywhere. Just say the word. Oh boy. It is getting hot in here. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what we're doing here. We've got a job to do, remember? We'll get to it, Pud. Don't get your panties in a twist. Wait here, I'll be right back with you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. 
Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick-tock. What's the hold-up?